Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Now, William Kabogo has come out to comment after the vice president Chilima is arrested for alleged corruption. Former Kiambu governor William Kabogo has finally broken silence after the arrest of a popular politician or rather a popular African politician Africa as a continent has lagged behind in matters development with many associating corruption among its leaders as the main problem and uh, Kenya is among the African countries which corruption has greatly affected with several arrests being made without conviction. Malawi seems to be taking the fight against corruption much higher by arresting Vice President Saulos Chilima. The Malawi anti Corruption Bureau has arrested Vice President of Malawi, that is Saulos Chilema, for allegedly receiving 34 million Kenya shillings from UK tycoon Zuneth Sata in exchange of government contract. According to the reports that we are getting, is that Saulos Chilema will face corruption charges before Malawi courts and citizens are hoping that the high profile arrest will send a strong message to the corrupt political class. William Kabogo through his reaction has reacted to the high profile arrest by eluding confidence that Kenyans will also witness the same incidents if not an almost similar one when it comes to dealing with corruption. And this was reported by the Standard News. And this is the reaction of William Kabogo. William Kabogo is saying this. To Tafika too, because there is, there is a God in heaven, I believe. And that is whatever he's saying. According to William Kabogo, who is a Christian by faith, Kenyans will one day witness EACC making arrest of the high profile public servant, such as the deputy president, and allowing the law to take its course. When you look at what Kabogo is telling us, it is literally pure truth. Because I think Malawi has done it great. Because when you see at the cases of the deputy president regarding Shagwa, was withdrawn from the court. It's showing certain indication that one, there are certain institutions that are dealing with these cases of graft that at times they are fearing these political leaders, number one. Number two, they are being bribed to drop the cases or clear the cases. So when you look at the criteria and the scenarios that is happening, ladies and gentlemen, it is giving us a lot of worries because according to my opinion, the other time, I believed that Kenyans were going to experience that justice because there are certain leaders that are being elected. After being elected, they are squandering public resources to their own benefit or their family benefit. When you look at the cases that Rigadi Gashago was facing, you want to tell me about 35 cases, almost 35 cases. It has been dropped because what we are being told by the DPP Nudin Haji is that they were being pushed to persecute certain individuals because of the political direction or political stand. But I want to ask a question. If Malawi today has come out to arrest the vice president, Saulos Chilema, it is a true indication that Malawi has taken a step that, look, when you are elected as a leader, 
you cannot misappropriate or you cannot be a, a, a corrupt leader then still you are leading the people of Malawi. So the step that has been taken by the this body of Malawi, this body of Malawi called the Malawi Anti-Corruption Bureau. For us, it is called EACC. But in Malawi, it is called the Malawi Anti-Corruption Bureau that always is mandated with this issue of cor corruption. But literally, when you look at the way Kenyans' cases are being handled, it is being handled in a way that one, judges are not independent. Two, the DPP is not independent. Three, is that the DCI is being pressurized that he was forcing the DPP to persecute. Another thing is that the EACC has not come out to arrest anyone. And in any case, they have arrested someone, but no action or conviction has not yet been made. So it's showing a kind of life that Kenyans are passing through with leaders that are committing corruption, involving themselves in corruption. Then they are being released because we are being told there's no enough evidence to prove them guilty. So that is the problem that we have. But in any case, according to William Kabogo, one day might happen if the president will accept these institutions to be independent. But literally, I know some Kenyans will say that now independent, these institutions are independent. These in institutions are not independent. When it comes to DCI, the government has captured. When it comes to judiciary, the government has captured. When it comes to DPP, the government has captured. When it comes to the EACC, the government has captured. When it comes to police, government has captured. So when will independent will be realized in these institutions? Then if it's going to be realized, then the prayer of William Kabogo that one day is going to happen, then even today, the president will be arrested because of involving in corruption. So, ladies and gentlemen, do you support the arrest of the vice president of Malawi, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Soulos uh, Chilema, who has been arrested because of case, uh, cases when it comes to graft? So, do you support or you don't? Then what next for Kenyans? Are you supporting Kenyans to follow the same route? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise... Asante-san.